What does a member do that sent their removal of the office of the person letter and still get mail and their name delivered? Also, the same person has sent back letters returned to sender that were put back in their box by USPS, and it looked like they're not following the postmaster letter. Okay. The element of removal of the office of the person doesn't concern us after the point that we file. So remember, gaining jurisdiction in a warrant or indictment, such and such person receives personal mail at such and such address. That's one of three contracts that would be gained to gain warrant access. So you've issued the removal of the office of the person. You've told them you don't want to receive personal mail in the all caps name, yet they still deliver. What do I do? Personally, open it up, take a picture, seal it, return to sender. No such person exists at this address. Throw it back in the mail. Contact the person on the letter. Why are you still sending a letter to this address? If it's a DMV, I'm not going to contact them. I'm just going to let them receive it back. I'm going to go to the DMV and I'm going to say, look, you need to make sure you have the in care of because I have a mail service. They're going to say, well, what is your address? I gave it to you, but we do not receive mail in my name. It's in care of this. And so remember, the DMV is always trying to gain access through two residential agreements to prove they got subject matter jurisdiction, which is why the driver's license is the most prudent thing that you have to deal with. So if it were me, I would just keep sending, um, no such person exists at this address, keep stamping those envelopes, keep sending them back. And then once you're completely out, um, you, you do one more removal of the office of the person you're not receiving personal mail. They can't prove you're receiving personal mail. You can prove every single one was sent back and you can show it, take a picture. No such person exists at this address. Boom, send it back. Why does no such person exist at this address? Because the 1583 with the notary presentment that you sent them says so. No such person exists at that address. So make sure you send them back. If you have the 1583, you got the removal of the office of the person, you got the pictures sending everything back. Who cares if you're the function of the person or the beneficiary of the person? Keep sending them back. Hence, the postmaster does not have jurisdiction, and that portion of a warrant or indictment can be quashed. Okay, quash. What does that mean? It means before they have jurisdiction, you're kicking it out. Why? Because they don't have jurisdiction because you proved it on and for the public record that you've done this removal of the office of the person, this removal of the office of the person, that you have this 1583 that's squared away that's only, only coming to mail with uh, the name of the foundation on, and that everything keeps going back to them. Who's got the proof? You do.